In the Pacific Northwest region of the United States, there is a small town in the state of Oregon called Clatskanie. This quiet borough is only home to around 1,800 people and rides along the lower border of the state of Washington. It is here in this little town that one of the most iconic American short story writers was born. His name is Raymond Carver. Although Raymond Carver died at the relatively young age of 50 years old, his impact across the American short story genre is still felt today, and his writings are still regularly celebrated as some of the greatest works of fiction. Regular readers and critics alike commended Carver for his book collections, and he was nicknamed the American Chekhov for his outstanding work in writing that proved similar in style to the Russian writer Anton Chekhov. At a first glance of any of Carver's works, it's clear he stuck to a hardline style, as he wrote very minimally. He only used simple words and short sentences. Carver wanted to use a vocabulary that mirrored that of the working class Americans, mostly because working class Americans were all that Carver wrote about. His stories often held meanings that meant much more to people who lived in lower class rural communities. People who did labor intensive jobs to make ends meet, never having enough money to do anything outside of their town. Many of the themes in these stories include poverty, alcoholism, family separations, and depression. All things that many lower middle class Americans have to deal with. Part of the reason Carver was so successful was because, in the themes of these stories, many blue collar workers found relatability. And as a result, Carver became massively successful as a writer, eventually on a national level. But in order to understand the complex problems of rural Americans, one must understand it from their perspective. Carver was so unique in his writing because he had lived this rural, lower middle class status all of his life. Raymond Clevy Carver was born on May 25, 1938 to a father who worked in the sawmills and a mother who waited tables. The father, who would incessantly drink, and the mother, who would self-medicate with pain pills, both exposed a young Carver to the darker sides of his less-than-well-off family. This would be the start of Carver's exposure to the Pacific Northwest rural lifestyle, as he went on to work in the same sawmill his dad did as a teenager. Soon enough, Carver would father two children of his own, with his first wife at the young age of 20. Although he always wanted to be a writer at this time, family commitments made the money run thin. As time went on, Eventually, Carver got older and began to find more time to write. He would have his first major success in the 1976 book collection, Will You Please Be Quiet, Please? This assembly of 22 stories was the first nationwide success of Carver's career, and it was about at this point that many casual readers of short stories appreciated his surprisingly accessible characters and themes. This book would put Raymond Carver as a writer on the map. At about the age of 38, Carver still had his struggles, even as an established writer. In his middle ages, he developed a major dependency on alcohol and often found himself missing important guest lectures and writing events. It was at this time that he decided to quit alcohol for good and he eventually completely dropped it by age 39. Going into the 1980s, Carver had released a number of award-winning books and collections including the short story Cathedral and the ensuing book collection of the same name. These stories also utilized many of Carver's previous writing techniques and carried many of the same themes about addiction and struggles with money, both things that Carver would still deal with even as a famous writer. By the late 80s, Carver was diagnosed with lung cancer and eventually passed away from it in 1988. He would be remembered as one of the great American writers of his generation.